This video is brought to you by Kennel Grim and Grin's own Screams from the Crypt. 20 tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome back to Build Request for the first build of 2020. Or technically for the six of you eagle-eyed viewers who accidentally saw the grim builds of this vehicle upload for half an hour last year, the last build of 2019, but the first build request video of 2020. The Grim Builds will be back up next week, and for more than half an hour, and hopefully going forwards I will be less garbage at scheduling, but we'll see. And so what is this build I hear you cry out in anticipation? Well, I'm going to build the lightsaber from Beat Saber. No, don't worry, I'm only joking. This request comes from Britishman0410, who wanted me to build a ship from Cowboy Bebop, requesting either Bebop itself or any other vehicle from the show. And I've decided to try my hand at not the Bebop itself, because while it's a pretty okay ship, it was while I was watching the show never something that I really wanted to fly. And so instead, I've gone for Spike Swordfish, because when it appears in the show, and especially when it appears in the movie, I always find myself thinking, man, I would really like to fly that thing. And so, by the end of this video, I will be able to do so. The ship is not super complicated functionality-wise, it's pretty much just your standard fighter. There's no real moving parts or anything, so I was able to really concentrate heavily on the aesthetics of the vehicle, which was pretty nice considering the build came on the heels of the X-Wing, which was far, far more complicated. And also rather fortunately, Cowboy Bebop is extremely popular, so there was no difficult finding reference photos of the vehicle from basically every angle, other people have 3D modelled it, and it appears in the show and movie pretty heavily, so that was no difficulty there. I mean, while I was building it, I literally had the Cowboy Bebop movie on the TV next to me, and was watching it while I built. Building the basic shape of the vehicle wasn't too difficult, and after doing so I gave it a quick paint job, and then started to buckle down and try to hone in the finer details, which became a little bit more tricky, as the bottom middle and bottom front of the vehicle is a little bit bulbous and a little bit weird to build in banjo kazooie nuts and bolts. It's sort of very rounded and it's on levels that doesn't line up too well with the game and can be a little bit tricky. In the actual show, the vehicle is at kind of three different heights, kind of like an upside down staircase, where the engine is at the top, then a little bit lower is the middle, and then even lower than that is the front of the vehicle, and then coming off between them on a slight angle that doesn't really work in Nuts and Bolts' blocky nature is the energy laser spike, and they all sort of connect to each other with slight ball shapes. It's kind of tricky to explain, but no doubt I've put a picture on the screen to illustrate it. Either way, this is somewhat of a lengthy explanation to admit that the bottom of the vehicle isn't entirely correct, and that is definitely the part of the vehicle that took the longest, Though, I do think in the end, that while what we ended up with wasn't entirely accurate, it still is representational enough in that when you see it, you realise what it's supposed to be. And then all that was left was a little bit of messing around with the nose cone of the vehicle, which was actually more to do with the bottom of the vehicle again, because I was trying to differentiate it further visually from the spike, and then a half-assed attempt to add a gyroscope, followed by a better paint job, which just about had it finished. And so there you have it, Spike Ship the Swordfish from Cowboy Bebop in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. If you would like this vehicle in your own save, what will follow now is the layer by layer, so feel free to copy that. And if you would like to join me on social media, a link to my Twitter and the Channel Grim and Grin Discord The Echo Chamber is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to buy Grin's book, Screams from the Crypt, a link to that is also in the description. It's currently on sale at Book Depository, or it is at the point of me recording this sentence. I don't know when the sale goes until, but check that out also. And so, with all of that said and done... Bang.
20 Tales of Horror, Sci-Fi, and Suspense. Available now.